Hello everybody, I'm going to be trying a new mold that I got and it's a jar that has actually a sealed tight lid that goes on it and they actually even come with some rubber rings um, so that you can do that. I've never made this kind of a jar before but it looks really pretty on the website so I'm going to try. Now another thing that a lot of you probably don't know about me is that I also collect some vintage jewelry. So this piece right here was a brooch and it is broken. The pin broke off the back of it. So I decided I'm going to make this jar and use this lid, um, and I mean to use this brooch here in the top part of my lid. So I'm going to go ahead and just pour a little bit of resin in here. I've um, I'm using Envirotech Light right now, and that is a resin that you don't have a whole lot of work time, if, especially if it's warm in your room, which it is in mine right now. So um, I am going to kind of just get started, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is just pour a little bit in here, just enough to cover the bottom. and roll it around in here to get in those inside edges so that I don't get any bubbles, okay? So that's looking pretty good. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brooch, it's got a lot of really fine places in here. And just so you know, these are not precious stones, okay? These are glass, these are just glass stones. So um, I'm gonna take my tweezers here and I'm going to dip this in the resin just like I would anything else that has lots of little crevices. Kind of swish it back and forth to get in between some of those areas. Okay, and then I'm just simply going to place it here face down in my resin. It's not going to stand still right now because it's not flat on the top, but that's okay. I'm uh, I just wanted to kind of get it started. And I'm going to go ahead and pour a bit more in here. That looks like we might be bubble free. And you can see it's kind of starting to level itself out. Okay. Now I'm gonna take just one of my, my little silicone craft sticks and I'm going to lay it across here to make it make sure that it stays flat. This is an unmarked piece of jewelry so I'm not sure who the maker was but yeah it's just kind of fun sometimes to use those kinds of things. Okay so now I'm going to scooch this over here make sure it kind of stays in the center and I'm just going to kind of make sure it stays kind of flat straight up and down the way that I want it to cure. There we go. I'm just going to keep an eye on that. Okay, so now that color, it had some greens and some blues in it. So I'm going to pour, I'm going to have a couple of different colors here to mix in to this jar. that to go in my cup, not all over the place. Okay, so clean up my mess real quick. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I want this to have a little bit more green then blue. Oops, this one has not been used, so I need to snip this tip off real quick. A couple squirts of this. This is a uh, lime, lime green, and these are not alcohol inks. These are just plain translucent dyes. And 
I want it to be fairly translucent. This might be just a bit too translucent. It's kind of more clear than green, so a bit more. I'm going to add just a drop or two of blue. There we go. Okay. Oops, my stick's a little stir stick. Poppy stick is falling all apart. Okay, so let's see. That's kind of a pretty lime green. Maybe just one more, one or two more drops of green in here. Okay, I think that's going to be about good. The resin's feeling a bit warm, so I'm going to spray it and get ready to pour, actually. So, okay, so now here's this jar. I'm going to pour some alcohol in here along the sides. I mean, spray some. Okay. And I'm going to roll this around in here. I'm just going to turn it. I'm going to even turn it upside down. Get it so it's kind of coating in there. Okay. So it looks like pretty much our bubbles, we've got a few fine bubbles in here, but not much. So I'm going to go ahead and see, let's see me. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pour these together, kind of layer them maybe. This may not be enough for just one pour. So I might have to come back and do, I might have to mix up more resin. I just mixed up eight ounces and this is a pretty good sized jar. I think this is going to be about enough to do about half of it. So I'll just have to repeat these same colors. And I've got a bit of green here left over, so I'm going to have to go ahead and pour this in so it does not, it's not going to wait. Okay. So that brought us up to this little seam. There's a little line here that has a seam. Um, I would guess it's a little bit more than halfway. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, um, yeah, that is, like I said, probably about halfway. Our little brooch here is just kind of staying put right where we left it. So that's good. I'm gonna, I'm going to go ahead and give it a spray of alcohol and in here too. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna make up some more resin and then we will go ahead and finish pouring this, okay? So, see if it's getting hot. Doesn't feel too, too bad right this minute, but I'm sure it's going to get hot. The inside is about this thick from the inside wall to the outside part of the mold. So, I think I'm going to be okay going ahead and pouring it. Um, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> okay, I'll see you back here in just a minute. Okay, I've made up some more resin and I'm going to go ahead and get this, um, get it poured here. I think I had about three or four drops of, of the green and I had well, two or three drops of blue in there. So 
I think whatever we get here is going to be pretty close enough. Okay, I'll see if I can see any bubbles. It's definitely getting warm. Let's see here. I don't see any bubbles in there. It's feeling a bit cool. Sorry, I have my um, air purifier going. It's up kind of high. This um, Envirotech light has a little bit more of a, of a fumes than my uh, Diamond Clarity from Naked Fusion that I usually use. Um, I do wear my mask and everything while I'm stirring, but this has been sitting a few minutes, so I did take it off so, um, so that I could talk during this part. And it's almost time to pour. The bubbles are pretty much out of this blue one here. So we still have some in that one. This one is pretty clear. Don't see much bubbles in the in this clear. So I'm going to go ahead and pour a bit more. I would like to be able to cover this brooch in the clear. So I'm going to go ahead and pour. I still don't see any bubbles coming through. I'm going to pour around the sides first to kind of help fill in any gaps. This resin, I think I've said before, is thin enough to where it's actually kind of nice to work with in this way because it does tend to fall into the tiny cracks better than a resin that is thicker. And I can kind of keep going. I want just a tiny bit left here around the lip for a little bit of color. I'm going to start it with this right now, and then I can, when it gets a little thicker, I'll move it. Okay, let's see here. All right, this blue is looking pretty clear. See some bubbles in there, but not many. So um, this is getting pretty hot. This is it's a lot in here. So even though the sides aren't very deep, I really don't want it to flash here. So I'm going to go put it in, in front of my cold air that's blowing out over there and see if I can make this kind of cure a little slower. All right, I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, everybody. It looks like our bubbles are pretty much out of this um, green here for our lid. Okay, we're kind of going kind of with this color here. And I'm just going to kind of slowly pour it in until we reach the top of our little lid mold here. Got a couple big bubbles, but we'll go ahead and spray it and that'll take care of those. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and put it over on the drying rack to cure. Got a couple little pieces of green glitter in here. Okay, yep, it's looking pretty good. Okay. And we will be back tomorrow to demold this. All right, I'll see you guys then. Hello, everybody. So our jar is completely cured here, and so is our lid. And, you know, usually I really take a close look at my molds before I start pouring. And I didn't really do that on this one. 
I saw the base of the mold and um, just assumed, as I normally would, that this was the top of the mold and so I was working upside down. But then as I was looking, this is supposed to be a sealed jar, okay? Where you put this around the base and then it fits into the jar, um, which would be this side, just, just snugly. Um, so then I realized that I placed my little brooch the other way. So this lid is going to just sit on the top of this jar. I should have been working upside down, okay? And didn't really do that, but that's okay. I will remember to do that the next time. This will still work just fine. So let's take out this little lid here, see how it did. Wow, it just came out really shiny, kind of like a real, kind of like a green sea glass color here. Let me get off my little bit of an overage. But here's the base, really pretty, really shiny. And here's the top with our brooch in it. See how pretty that is? Now, even though this little brooch was vintage and it I, just kills me and pains me sometimes to see people put this kind of a vintage jewelry into resin because once it's in there, it's not coming out. Um, but this piece was broken and it's been in my collection, just kind of bouncing around for years. And finally I thought, you know what? At least I can find a place to put it where I will actually enjoy it. So there is that. And that's turned out really pretty. I'm going to snip this off just really quick while I think about it before it gets too hard. There we go. Now those edges all smooth again. Okay, so here is the top, the lid for that. Now, here's the base. And I'm really excited about this mold. Really excited. And did I get some bubbles in there? I might have gotten a few bubbles. So the mold is shaped kind of like a melon, so it might be a little tough for me to get out of here. I'm going to have to go ahead and spray probably a bit of alcohol down the sides. I'm just going to do four different areas and see if that's enough to get that out of there. Okay, yeah, that definitely helps. It'll be enough to take it out these off before they stick. Okay. Okay. Get this out of there. Okay, there it is. Wow, it turned out really pretty. I do have some bubbles in there. I, I probably should have used either a deep pour resin or definitely done this in layers. Um, they're just fine bubbles. Get some of that alcohol off the sides. But it's really pretty. What do you think? So it's got the container on the inside and um, gosh, that'd be really pretty with a little battery operated uh, tea candle or votive sized candle, which I think I actually have a couple of those. I might try one in there. Um, yeah, that's really pretty. I, I see most of the green. I don't see too much of the blue. Pretty much no bubbles all the way around this first part of the pour, which it came this way, okay? And then I see from here to here um, where I was filling it up that I had too many micro bubbles. Um, this would probably be better done in a couple of pours and making sure that your bubbles are gone. But uh, for my first one, I think it's really pretty. And the lid here should have fit, I believe now, this way, okay? And it would have a seal so it would fit snug in there. But I'm going to have it sitting this way because my brooch is facing up and I think it's still actually really pretty. So now that I see this, you could actually do this either way. Um, let's see. Yeah, that is made, this is made to go around this. If you wanted your jar to be um, tightly sealed. Okay. But since mine is not going to be facing that way, I'm going to have it sitting the other way.
Okay, yep, so my, my lid's gonna be just sitting, resting on the top here, okay? And it's all cured, but it feels a bit sticky from, probably from my um, putting the alcohol on it. So I can show you here, it fits on there really well, and actually it looks just as fine this way. I'm not even too sure if I don't like the look of it better with this part of the lid sticking up. And I don't have any reason to put anything in here that I want sealed for this particular jar anyway. Okay, so here it is. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this project. And just remember, if you buy one of these, I, they come in, I think I saw three different styles of the bigger jar with different kinds of siding and things. And just remember that if you are wanting a sealed lid, that you pay attention to that before you pour, okay? Um, but anyway, there it is. I hope you guys all enjoyed doing this with me. And I think really it's very pretty, very, very pretty. I'm gonna try another one and minus all the bubbles. And I'll let you know on my community page if, um, if I do that and I will post the pictures then, okay? Thanks for joining me, everybody. I really appreciate you and I appreciate your support. And I hope that you enjoyed this project and I will see you all next time.